Hello everyone, welcome back to today's show time to the collection. Today I'm going to review all my Jurassic World toys. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Today we went through a little bit of trouble. I had to empty out all of my stuffed toys to get this box and then I have to hold the phone in an unnecessary way that I usually wouldn't hold it. So let's just get this video over with because I'm trying to make this video only about 10 minutes. First one we have is a really cool looking Velociraptor blue. I'm going about how hard I tried. I couldn't find Velociraptor Delta from Jurassic World Camp Cretaceous. Anyway, this blue is really cool. Um, it's got like, really cool detail. Hasbro really did a good job on it. I mean, it looks like it's about to pounce on the Indominus Rex. Sadly, we don't have an Indominus Rex. There, I'm just gonna put them on the floor. Oh, it sounds like the spiral damage in the JW symbol. Okay, next one. This one this is not a dinosaur, I mean, not much to review about this one. It's a lava ball got from it a kit, which is in here. This one is a Jurassic Park toy that my little sister found. I think it's a unofficial Jurassic Park toy from the third movie. So you can see the JP symbol there. Uh, I was really surprised when my brother said that he found the JP symbol. I thought it was just going to be like this little speckles there, making a JP. But no, it's the actual Jurassic Park symbol. This one isn't a dinosaur either, it's a card. So yeah, you can read about it. You can pause the video, then read it. So yeah, you've got a really cool picture of a baryonyx. Now when you've done reading it, and there's more. Got really cool Baryonyx. I mean, Baryonyx is my favorite character in Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. I'm not sure why. Yeah, there's some facts about it. And there's like the symbol. Also, if you haven't seen the Camp Cretaceous, go watch it um, after I have finished rereading this video because the second season has finally come out. This is my favorite one, also far on the material line. So the massive bites type of all. You just press the button and then it can chomp. Then you just twist the tail, then its head will go with it. And you can articulate the arms so to go in and out, but hardly. You can't do it without with the legs. And if you move the legs, it, the other leg goes with it, so you can't really make it in a running position. But sometimes if you hold it, uh, I wanted to pause the video, it's not working. Okay, now let me try. As I was saying, sometimes you can put the legs in a running position if you just like kind of force them. But yeah, that's a really cool one. There's the scan code to enter dress cord faxes. The, this is a one that I got the same day as the as Delta. So I'm gonna have to buy another one. If I can't find it. This is my only dimorphodon. I mean, it's red. Um, my other, my brother's, which is a Fallen Kingdom from Morphodon, it lost the scan code. And then my mum deleted, well, first my mum deleted the app from her phone. My brother kept saying the B word all the time. And he still says it sometimes. And then we lost the scan code, so now we can't scan that one anymore. But we can scan in this awesome time, Morphodon. Came with like that truck. Mm, which one to get out next? This one lost both horns, it's the Hasbro. Ceratops. This one is real cool. They can like shake its head, shake its head. They only have about six minutes left on the video, so I don't think we're gonna do it. I mean, hopefully we can. Just snigger in some time. There's the JW symbol and the, sorry, that. I've been holding it the wrong way. Sorry about that. I just have to hold it like this. This one lost an arm, it's my favorite raptor on the pack, it's Charlie. Charlie was the last Velociraptor standing apart from Velociraptor Blue. It's just so tempting to hold it that way. But I don't want to because then it's gonna mess up the screen. And this one's in hunting mode, my mum used to say. What do people say? My mum said that these two dinosaurs lost their body parts because they were in a fight with probably some other dinos. 
This one used to be like my favorite, but now it is all broken and messed up, just like our big Indominus Rex that we don't have anymore. Why? Why? Is this my fault? Like, the, the, the chomping action went away. We're using it for again, like, it was like all messing around. We had to swirl it up, then pick which one we're going to use, then fight with it. And it lost its hand. The hand is in there, I can guarantee you. But the sounds. It won't complete its long roars. And. Sometimes you have to press for a long time to get its roar on. But the hand is lost. But this action still works. So, yeah. Oh my god. So tempting to hold it this way. The only raptor that we have, which is still in good condition, this dude, Echo. Looks like it's about to pounce on the Indominus, just like Blue. That one's real cool. I'm going down, sorry. There's nothing inside. Oh my God, open up! This egg came with slime. Wait, we heard you already. Open up, you stupid egg! This one came with slime, I didn't really like the slime, but it came with a cool Triceratops action figure, which the head is now lost, but the other body parts are still on here. Okay, that Triceratops that, that the Jurassic Park Triceratops is actually sharing between me and Blake. This is actually one of my favorites that I'm going to bring out. Okay, if you have this and I make the sound, you're probably going to guess. Power, primal power blue. This one is really cool. I've wanted this for ages. And when it, I finally got it, I hated it. Oh, I'm just joking. I loved it. It was like a miracle the day I got it. It was a miracle after all of my waiting. I would even give, I even said when I saw it, it came out, I would like, no, I don't want that Helen costume. Can I please get this instead? And this is the, like, the only Dino Rivals, like the only Dino Rivals that doesn't have a, um, a uh, Dino Rivals card, but I lost my only Dino Rivals card on the Concavenator. This is like a baby fraction throw T-Rex is really lame. Fashion, because this came with T-Rex lockdown and I lost all the bits apart from this guy. My brother thinks that this um, dude actually, uh, the set came with two T-Rexes. Now, comment down below if you have, if you have or had this toy, but you specifically remember if it had one or two T-Rexes, because I am absolutely positive it came for only one. There's the battle damage. Got the screw holes, which are fine. I mean, like, it still has the chomping action. My brother threw this one under the bath. Bad luck for me, that was ages ago. Still cool. I mean, he's supposed to wiggle the tail, but I can't really. The place called Raptor from Hasbro. I'm okay, gonna try and hold it this way. It's just so tempting to not to. It's annoying, I hate it. But I love making videos. That's the body I was talking about with the egg. The tail's in there. This is like a set. It's like a fireball. What's the tail that came with it? This is a Happy Meals Stegosaurus that my brother gave me. I tried to custom paint it. But it's got a really lame action. It's like it's wiggling its butt on us. Okay, I just realized that the battery power is now only, I don't know, 15%. We're gonna have to go fast. This is a packy. It's got like a ramming head. So this is from the original Jurassic World. Got the battle damage. We have too much. Oh my God, am I gonna have to make a separate video? My only Mattel T-Rex is the Massive Biters, I think it is. Legacy Collection T-Rex. I mean, it's the sly. It's annoying, but it's like my most prized dinosaur possession. This is my, this is one of my favorites. The Control and Conquer Carnotaur. The Control and Conquer Carnotaurus, got the horns. And when I, sometimes, Sometimes when I think of it, I just think it's of it 
as a lump of plastic shaped into a kind of torus with sounds like really cool but yeah that's what I sometimes think of it this is a Hasbro my only good Hasbro herbivore I think it's got the whipping action and the bopping of the head action you already go away there's something wrong with them okay I do not like I do not really like my primal attacks they make sounds they just they just they just make too many sounds I mean they're good I mean they're, they're beautiful I mean this is a nice triceratops but I just don't really like how they are designed to make toys I mean noises this is a um, piece of that oh this is my biggest dinosaur and my biggest Jurassic dinosaur this dude can actually swallow action figures and then it goes out there so yeah here's the action figure that came with it it's my most favorite action figure I have because I don't really have that many it's like my only Jurassic World action figure, so that guy can bite on him. And I, th I mean, sometimes he can swallow. I mean, it's hard to get a grip. Oh, this is another play school. Like, the, the, the cheap action. I mean, come on, McDonald's, you can do better. They're just a lame head opening action. That's terrible. Oh, we got another piece of the grain. Got a car that came with it. Oh my god, how many pieces of it do I have? My first Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom toy, the Ceratosaurus from the Roar Wars. It looks like it has blood on its horn. But yeah, you can just the legs and then it's in and out. Oh, this one isn't really a Jurassic World toy, no, not like the Hasbro. I mean, the, the McDonald's figure. This is a Lego Dilophosaurus. It's like my only Lego dancer I have. I told you. I told you that I have the end of the hand and that's Here's the Happy Meals dancer egg, which is like the only good bit about it. Here's the other half of the egg. My only sticky mark. All of ours. What they're called. I keep forgetting. Oh, this is bumpy from the Camp Cretaceous. Huh? Um, my friends came up like with this. Um. Or was it crap contagious? I think it was. Like, yeah, and I came up with. Can, can, be quiet. And I came up with. And she's eating in the kids' room. Oh my god. And I came up with camp contagious, like with coronavirus. Okay, this one isn't mine. And this is what my triceratops doesn't look like. Full body, but it's not mine, so it doesn't belong in this collection. This is the Hasbro Dilophosaurus, and it came with like a venom. The sound effects are gone, which is sad. This is my favorite Hasbro dinosaur figure. I mean, it doesn't have the stomping action. It doesn't have stomping action, but it's got like a nice T Rex roar. This is the hybrid T Rex, and it's got like the two bits that go down. This is real cool. Ignore the bullet holes because, I mean, they're fine. Otherwise, it's a really cool toy. This is a JW symbol. Okay, this one looks like a package brontosaurus, and I bet you already know what it is. This is a Cenoceratops. That was my fault. It's a Cenoceratops. Hello, Sasha. But it looks like a package brontosaurus. I mean, I didn't really know what it was at first. I just said, well, after I watched the Walking with Dancers movie, I was like, okay, that's a Pachyrhinosaur. And then I realized on a video, it was a Cenoceratops. <laughs> what is this? That is not a Pachy... I mean, a Cenoceratops. I mean, if you want a good Cenoceratops toy, go get the Camp Cretaceous version. It's better. It actually looks like a Cenoceratops. Okay, this one has like a whipping tail. This is an iconcavenator. 
I mean, it's got the legs in and out action. You can twist these in and out. It's got the tail whipping action where you press the hump. It's hard sometimes. I mean, that, that whipping action where you do that like, kind of rhymes with a Jurassic Park toy. And then you press that button there and do the chomping action. It's not a complex toy, I mean, it's fine. Now, let's go with a little matchbox. Let's ignore that. Okay, the Triceratops' his tail do not have the head. This is my only Mattel blue. Like, this is the only one I have. Battle damage blue. I glued its head because it was all floppy. It's got the might. I mean, a dance attack and boom. And then, I don't think its legs can go in and out. Oh, wait, there, yeah, they can. There's the scan code. The arms can go in and out, and it can open its mouth. This is the last one. And it's one of my favorite Hasbro's. This is the Ceratosaur. I think it's Soundstrike or something? I'm not sure, but you pull down the tail and you have to get a grip of the leg and then it mouth open and closes. It used to have sounds, as you can see there, but it doesn't. Any Anymore. Sorry about that. Oh. Either way, it's cool. Okay, I think we'll have to end the to end the video there. I mean, I, I have a pretty big collection. I mean, look at it. I mean, not as big as Richard. I mean, if you want a bigger dinosaur um reviewing video, go check out Xavierosaurus or Dinosaurs. It's got that dinosaur there for some reason as the cover. Yeah, I mean. The, the screen the whole time was this way i mean it seems easier to hold the camera this way but it's making it hard for you guys to see so yeah i think i have to end the video there and also a reminder if you watch my godzilla video you might have noticed that i never said i was going to make a good Godzilla video that was on one of my failed videos yeah i got kind of i got kind of be quiet. I got I got kind of carried away. Yeah, about that, but yeah. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like Excuse me. What is that? What is that? Make sure to like and subscribe to the channel. Make sure to like and subscribe to the channel. These are my final words for today. And I'm also not sure when Jurassic Island Episode 4 is coming out. It's going to be... It's going to be cool. So, yeah, I'm going to see you now. Goodbye.